really effective coaches, they really don't do a lot of coaching on the sidelines. In other words, when it comes to coaching during a game, less is more. It's not so different than a teacher giving their class a test. Hear us out. School teachers, when they give their kids a test, they don't just stand there and scream the answers. They let their kids take the test, they grade them, and they say, huh, yes, they did understand it. Okay, we can move on. Or, you know what, maybe I need to reteach something again. That's why great coaching is observing, to figure out which lessons stuck and which could use a refresher. You can still talk over the top, but we got to remember, like in a four versus four game, there's 56 possible channels of communication on the field at one time. These kids are trying to manipulate the ball, and then there's noise from the side, there's noise from you. It's overwhelming for them. So coaching with a five, six, seven, eight-year-old age groups, just be positive, cheer them on. You know, they don't come to work at the game. They come to play at the game. And use breaks to encourage them, or get back to basics. Honestly, when they're five and six, your halftime talk is, hey, we're going this way. Uh, and just make sure they're, hey, everyone okay? Maybe you give them something to think about when they go back out to the second half, but don't worry necessarily about the outcome of the game, because it's about the process, it's about the effort. And then when they get older, yeah, winning, winning counts. I mean, they play to win the game. If they lose, okay, what can we learn from that loss? Getting it wrong is part of getting it right.